What up? Welcome into the new garage, MTB Garage Talk. Uh, bear with me on the lighting here. I'm gonna get some nicer lights, some brighter lights in here, but still got the trusty aperture. Um, so it looks, hopefully it looks okay for you guys. Um, cheers, I'm drinking an aha. Uh, it's my day off, it's too early to drink. Um, okay, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect this, um, not at all. Yeti Arc, um, I've gotten five rides on it now. I haven't ridden a hardtail in, God, 10 years, maybe more, 10, whenever my uh, last bike was that Cannondale F29. Um, wow, this, I mean, I'm trying to gather my thoughts here because this thing literally blew my mind. Um, I had no idea a hardtail could ride this good. Um, and it, it's an interesting, it's an interesting bike. So it does not feel like an XC bike whatsoever, which is, is good. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want some steep, uh, uber lightweight, you know, sketchy bike coming downhill. Like I like to go downhill and, and that's why this one kind of caught my eye. It's, it's got trail geo and. I mean, there was times when I was riding this thing, I forgot it was a hardtail. Like, it is that good. Um, I think decision on the rear tire was super clutch, especially with that Cushcore XC in the back. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I've been a longtime fan of the XC Cushcores. Um, I tried the Pros. I didn't really care for them. They're, they're a bit too much. Um, the XC is perfect. It just has a nice, subtle, increased, enhanced feel of that rear end, but it's nothing that's um, super, um, it's nothing that's, I, I, I felt like the the, um, the pros were just kind of too much in terms of like bottom out and um, yeah, I don't know. The XC Kush Core on this, even though they say they're only for like a 2.4 tire, got this as a 2.6 and I think that's part of why the back end of this bike feels so good. I was going down uh, one of my trails I ride all the time, Holes Gulch and just the way this thing holds a line, um, how soft and supple it feels like. I just was expecting to get to the bottom of this because my last hardtail, granted, was super steep. You know, it had a lefty fork and it had 2.1 tires on there. So, Geo was all off. And, and the way they tune this carbon frame, like it, it feels like a soft tail, I guess. I don't know. It's, I'm having trouble putting it into words because it just kind of took me off guard and I was like, um, I kind of bought this thing and I was like, it's going to be like my gravel, like I'll take it out on the trails, you know, once in a while, but I'm probably going to be on the score most, most of the time. And uh, that might not be the case. So that kind of threw just like a whole wrench into the spokes of my what I was trying to do here, but I think it worked out even better because now I think this might be my daily driver. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like my when I'm down in the lower foothills and there's nothing super crazy, I mean, the bike carries speed insanely well. The way this thing just pops out of a corner, like this thing feels like a Lamborghini, whereas my score feels like a Ford Raptor. Like this thing just feels so sporty, but yet it never got like twitchy and nervous. Uh, 67 degree head angle, which is about perfect for what you'd want on a 130 um, pike. Might be a little bit slacker, I don't know, because they usually do it with a Fox 34, and I don't know if the axle of the crown is any different on this. Um, if anything, if I had to guess, it might be a little longer. So maybe it's slightly under 67, um, but I'd have to double check that. But I mean, the bike is super quiet. It's so crazy fast. Like, so let's, let's get into the climbing part first. So climbing, I like, I was impressed, but I wasn't impressed because I kind of knew what to expect. Um, it's crazy fast uphill. Like <laughs> that's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, the 2.6 rubber out back didn't feel sluggish or slow on the climbs. I mean, you don't realize how much energy loss there is when you step out of the saddle and sprint. And I'm sure a lot of my viewers that ride hardtails will probably school me in the comments on this, but I didn't even realize, I mean, obviously you know, but going back and forth, 
how much energy loss is in you know any bike that has rear suspension every single ounce of energy put into this crank and into the wheels just rockets you forward and it is like the most addicting feeling um so yeah climbing up i mean i just was a breeze i felt you know i'm still putting in as much probably as much effort like my heart rate didn't necessarily change um i was just going way faster plain and simple um and it's really enticing bike to how steep this is i'll have to double check um how steep that is but just puts you in such an aggressive climbing position but yet once you turn it around and go downhill i mean look out this is going to be this is a Boise Foothills KOM machine for sure, for in the right hands. Um, this thing would just absolutely crush everything. So coming downhill is where this bike really impressed me the most because I wasn't really expecting much or I didn't even know what to expect. I haven't ridden a hardtail in so long, but I expected to like really have to be line choicey and really pick stuff and slow down and, and kind of pick my way through stuff and it's still like, you don't want to go plow this thing, but it's crazy how much I like was kind of careless with my line choice. And Holes Gulch is not the most technical trail by any means, but it's one of our most technical in terms of just got a lot of chatter and, um, but it's still pretty flat in an XC trail, but um, I was able to just kind of just ride it how I normally ride it. There was one or two spots. Um, you know, it, it, this is gonna change once I get on some different trails and more trails and can ride a little bit more technical stuff. But I mean, it handled it so good. It just rockets you forward. So right, right when I started the climb or end of the climb, started the downhill into this moto trail, it's kind of flat and it has these rollers. And uh, I was with some buddies and I just started hammering like I normally do, dr dropping into this fun little moto downhill trail. And I mean, literally just the first section I was gone. Like you just, all your power, you're just going like the way you go from stopped to like full speed on this bike is the most addicting feeling. I knew within 10 seconds of descending on this bike that I was going to love it. I mean, just get out of the saddle and just put that power down and you're, you're gone. Like compared to like my full suspensions bike, you, you lose a lot of energy when you get out of the saddle and hammer into your first downhill and it was the most crazy addicting feeling ever. And I just, all I want to do is ride this bike and I'm heading out the second I'm done with this video. Um, corners. I mean, I mean, the bike's amazing. I, I, I just, I can't put my head around it. I am absolutely in love with this bike. It just corners so good. And the way you can just pop out of a corner with no rear suspension, <sighs> super addicting. Um, and I, I honestly think this is the perfect compliment. Um, to my score, 4060. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's such a badass bike. Things like uh, pretty much super dialed. I mean, coil suspension, all the new RockShox stuff. And I took that out yesterday. So I rode this bike four or five times. And then I took the score out yesterday just to see my opinion going back to my bike that I've been riding. And I can't wait to get back on this bike. Like I love my score and it absolutely rails uh, the downhills, but man, this thing is so much faster around here. And, and I just don't even see the need for a rear suspension when you got a bike like this. I really don't. Um, cause I was thinking about getting like a shorter travel. Like I would take this over the Santa Cruz blur or like something like that, or like, um, the specialized Epic Evo. I would much rather have this bike. This bike feels like it's going to be way more fun than those bikes. Um, that's what it's all about, having fun. A um, couple changes I did make, not much. I did get that one up uh, chain guide on there. I did need to use the spacers for anyone putting one on. And uh, I had to use, there's spacers in the bolts, uh, like a washer type spacer. And then I used two spacers in this to get the chain line right. But yeah, that was perfect. And uh, shout out to Sean. I know he loves the channel and uh, one of my really good buddies, he hooked me up with these Yeti ODI grips and they match the bike perfectly. And um, those are my favorite, been my favorite grips now for a little bit. And uh, I think they look even better in the turquoise. So yeah, it, future plans for this thing. Like now I'm kind of stoked on it. I didn't think I was going to be this stoked. I didn't think I'd want to ride it as much as I do right now. 
Um, so I might throw some carbon cranks on, just uh, get a little bit stiffer feel out of that crank and might upgrade the wheels at some point. I've been actually pleasantly surprised with this wheel set. Um, it's just the Traverse um, 30 mil internal aluminum, two cross uh, DT 370s. I put the upgrade, oh, I did upgrade the, the ratchet to the 54 tooth engagement. Um, the wheels feel killer, super killer. Um, not much else I want to change. I really like the 50 mil stem on there. Um, I don't love the look of that one. I might throw the NV on. I just think the NV alloy looks a little bit cooler. Um, but I like the bars. Um, love the fork, that pike. So that's the B series, the B4. One of the best feeling forks I've felt. I think maybe just second to the new Lyric that I have now. But other than that, super dialed. Love it. Nothing I want to change. The tire combo was, was sick. I mean, that Asagai up front did not slow this bike down, in my opinion. It's a 2.5 in the front. It measures right at a 2.5. This did blow up slightly bigger to a 2.525. Um, so 2.5 and a quarter. Um, so it is slightly bigger than, wider than the front tire, but... You don't feel it on the trail. I didn't really notice it. I mean, it just, the rear tire on this is just perfect for this bike, especially with the Kush Core. And uh, it paired really well with the Asagai 2.5. Um, I don't see the need to go to a 2.6 in the front. I just think that's a little bit too much tire, especially in an Asagai. Um, so this combo just works great. Um, if anything, if I were to try something different, I just like the speed and this is such a lightweight tire. It is the uh, 120 TPI, it's so fast. So it's hard to take it off. And it's like, I don't wanna turn this bike into something that it's not by putting some big old double down 2.5 aggressor or something on the back. Like, no need for that. Um, I got my score with bigger, grippier. So that was, I was able to put beefier tires on the score now because it's not gonna be like my daily driver. So. I did retire my favorite two, three aggressor. I'm, I'll probably do a little video on that um, soon just to explain why, but, and show you guys my new rear tire for the score. Um, I've kind of settled on it. Um, stay tuned for that. But as far as this bike, this is definitely my new favorite rear tire uh, for a lightweight bike. Two, six recon blows up to like just over a two, five and spins solid, spins super, super fast. Like the way it rolls is superior. It's got great traction. Knobs are a little bigger than the 2.4. I, I kind of under impressed with the 2.4 recon, but 2.6 is killer. So anyways, enough tire talk, enough talk about this thing. I'm gonna go ride it some more and God, it's so good. It was, uh, yeah, I don't know. Blew me out of the water. I'm still like trying to gather my thoughts. I don't even really know what to say other than I just love it. It's just so fast and it's just such an addicting bike to ride. So. Um, I'm gonna go out there and get it. So go out, get yours and uh, bear with me. I'm gonna kind of rearrange stuff with the new shop and uh, new garage is heated. So be able to do this in the winter now and not freeze my tail off. So cool, I'll catch you guys on the next one and uh, go ride your bike, peace.